As we were boxing up our shirts, we noticed a pinhole right here. It brought up a good point. It's very important to QC both during and after printing. If you find problems during printing and fix them right away, you'll avoid mistakes at the end of the job like this. There are a few different ways you can do this. Sometimes thinner and even slightly underexposed areas of the emulsion will break down. This can happen right away or in the middle of a print run. It's important to train your press operators to look for these areas and to tape them up right away on the underside or shirt side of the screen with screen tape. If you can catch them right away, they can be fixed before going into the conveyor dryer and sprayed out with something called Plastisol ink remover. If you're using water base, you can also use some screen wipes with water before they go into the dryer. If it happens on lighter garments or you don't notice until after the dryer, you want to employ the use of a spot gun in order to blast out the stuck ink. Ryanet's Cured Ink Remover is a great product to get Plastisol out, but this is a fairly nasty chemical and you want to use it with gloves, eye protection, and in a ventilated area. The best way to do this is with the spot station that has ventilation built into it. However, if you're in a small print shop, you either use a tin can or solvent resistant bucket. Stretch the garment over the surface and blast it out. Start about four to five inches away and work closer carefully. You can adjust the spray of the gun in order to fan it out and spray out the ink residue or the ring around it. Let the garment evaporate and ensure there's not a stain. If there's an ink stain, repeat. If the stain is a spot fluid, this will wash out. If you're trying to blast out water-based, you can change the spot remover to water, but you definitely want to follow the instructions and the video that shows you how to do this to properly care for your gun. Once your inks are cured and QC'd, you can fold and ship your shirts. There are two different ways to do this. A printer's fold is stacking six or 12 shirts of the same size and folding them in half. Most printers don't charge for this. Some customers will request a fold or a fold and bag. This can be done by hand with a flip fold, which you can get on screenprinting.com for about 20 bucks and makes a nice fold. You can use open poly bags with flip tops as well. If you are folding and bagging, I would definitely recommend charging a little extra for that. There are also automated folding solutions when you start folding 10,000 plus like the folder.